Hi. Uh, an issue that some people have is with collision when they're trying to put collision onto a concave surface. So this would be an example of the type of thing, you know, like a tunnel, uh, where you want this to have collision on it. Uh, the definition of a concave a convex surface is that basically a concave is it curves inwards and convex is it bulges outwards. Convex surfaces are fairly easy to do uh, for collision. Concave, because they generally turn in on themselves, are, are a lot harder uh, to calculate. And if you try and do any kind of automatic, uh, like the automatic system that Unreal has in it, or you uh, just try and apply the complex collision, uh, so the you know the geometry of the object to be the collision. It doesn't always work, uh, so sometimes you've got to make your own collision, and this is what this is about really. So what we've got here is our tunnel, um, and uh, if we export it and take it over into Unreal, we will have a look at what the issue is. So I'm in Unreal. And I've made a, you know, I've uh, just like So we're in Unreal, and I've imported my cave, and let's pull. So we're in Unreal, and I've imported my cave, and if we play from here in third person, you can see that I have no collision. Nothing's come through with it because obviously not set any. So if we have a look in the object we have essentially the option to make collision. The problem is, is that all this box simplified collision makes a convex collision you know it'll make a box round something um, and it doesn't really have any options for concave geometry so the thing that you would normally try I suppose first off with something like this is to just use the geometry you've got uh, and to do that you'd go into this area here uh, collision complexity and you'd set use complex collision as the simple collision and you hit save and nine times out of ten this will work so if we play this this will probably work and it does so in this case, we probably don't need to do we we don't need to do this. However, it doesn't always work, um, and for when it doesn't work, this is what you need to do. So if I just come out of this um, and we go back over to Max, we'll set up some custom collision. So basically, we're back in Max, and what we need to do is build a collision made out of multiple pieces. Um, that, that we can just basically group together uh, using a naming convention that uh, Unreal understands. So the way we do that is if we just create a box, I'm not going to be too accurate with this, um, and I convert that to an editable poly, and I'm just going to rotate it. And I'm going to call it. So you prefix it with UCX, and that lets it know it's collision, underscore, and then you have to use the name of the object. So this object's called Cave. So I'm going to call it Cave. And then I'm going to make a copy of this. So hold Shift down. Sure. And it's important that you don't give it a number after it you keep the same name so that it will all be seen as one object so it still needs to be UCX cave and I'm just going to rotate that like I say I'm just going to be really rough with this just to show it so something like that then we'll take both of these and hold shift down and make a copy and again we'll have to and cancel. Maybe there's 180 degrees. Help if I add the snap on. One even. 
180 and put those into place slightly out it doesn't really matter too much let's move this one forward a bit that's close enough um, just check UCX cave UCX cave C002 that will come through um, and then I'm just going to make another box for the top really quickly so it's not like you have to follow the geometry you can basically make this how you want uh, I'm going to convert to an editable poly and I'm just going to make it fit what we need we're on the floor already so I'm not going to bother about a piece on putting a piece on the bottom so I'm going to call this I know the geometry goes over there but I'm not going to worry about that because you won't be able to reach up there anyway so I'm going to call this one UCX UCX capitals underscore cave so cave 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 oh, the best way to do this is just use the outliner uh, or whatever it's called sorry scene explorer because it's not ripped off me a much um, it may it would be the outliner the uh, so there we go so we've got cave and we've got these now they don't need to be grouped or anything like that you can just leave this like this it's a bit messy but if I just export all of this it will work or it should work hopefully so if I just go to export selected and call it cave uh, or we'll call it call cave and the usual stuff what it'll do is it will ignore it won't render this it will just knows its collision if it's UCX underscore and it's got the same name as the object it knows to bring it in its collision so if we go to Unreal and bring it in import then if you look it's just exactly the same mesh that's come in there's nothing else if we go play from here we have collision so it's recognized it so if we want to visualize that uh, we can go into we can switch collision on and you can see it there it is say so it's not the neatest thing ever probably don't actually need that we could probably just have boxes on the side it'd be fine wouldn't really notice it um, but yeah that's it so the last bit would be just I think if you're gonna do this a lot I would just have it a bit neater uh, like the way you organize it so you don't need to do any of these things it doesn't need to be grouped or anything but I would maybe take all of these and group them to the cave and also maybe well I've got those selected uh, apply a material that is I've set this material to have an opacity of 10 so it's see-through and I've just set it to like some color that you probably wouldn't use so that you know that all that stuff that you're looking at is collision and maybe also under layers create a collision layer uh, which there is there already um, but if you wanted to create this layer you just select these objects right click and uh, add selection to create layer and call it a layer with collision on and then you can switch it on and off so you don't actually have to look at it but if I take that and then move it the collision comes with it because it is grouped to it so you're just working between your selection set and your layer set uh, which is quite useful scene explorer is really good actually okay that's custom collision